write a test class for an Apex class that includes a method to update a custom field on all opportunity records related to an account. A test class must be written to ensure that the method behaves correctly when updating the opportunities. The test class should create test data for accounts and opportunities, invoke the method, and then assert that the opportunities have been updated appropriately. What is a trigger framework and why should you use one in Salesforce development? A trigger framework in Salesforce is a structured, organized way of writing triggers that promotes code reusability and maintainability. It helps in managing the complexity that comes with having multiple triggers on the same object. A trigger framework typically involves a single trigger per object that delegates the logic to handler classes. This separation of concerns makes the code cleaner and easier to test. Here's a basic example of a trigger framework pattern. What design patterns are frequently used in Apex and can you give an example of one? Design patterns are repeatable solutions to common problems in software design. In Apex, some frequently used design patterns are Singleton pattern Ensures a class has only one instance and provides a global point of access to it. Factory pattern Creates objects without specifying the exact class of object that will be created. Decorator pattern Adds new functionality to an existing object without altering its structure. Strategy pattern Enables a method to be selected at runtime an example of the singleton pattern in Apex. A client wants to ensure that only the most recent opportunity record for each account is marked as primary. How would you automate this in Salesforce? To automate this, I would use an Apex trigger on the Opportunity object. The trigger would fire on the After Insert and After Update events. It would query for existing opportunities related to the account, ordered by the creation date or a custom priority field. The trigger would then mark all others as non-primary and update the latest as primary. I would also incorporate bulk trigger best practices to handle multiple records efficiently. An integration is sending over large volumes of data to Salesforce, and you notice it's causing governor limit issues. What steps would you take to resolve this? First, I'd review the integration's batch size to ensure it's within Salesforce's bulk operation limits. Next, I'd optimize the code for bulk processing, possibly by implementing batch Apex to process large datasets asynchronously. I'd also look into using it future methods or queuable Apex for operations that don't need to be processed immediately, thus avoiding synchronous limit issues. How would you design a Salesforce solution to track and manage custom feedback received from multiple channels? I'd create a custom object for feedback with fields to capture various data points. I'd then utilize Salesforce's omnichannel capabilities to integrate different feedback channels, Automation tools like Process Builder or Flows would be used to route feedback records to the appropriate teams. Reports and dashboards would be set up for analytics and trend monitoring. You are tasked with designing a complex approval process that involves multiple departments with dynamic approval steps. What approach would you take? I would leverage Salesforce approval processes with dynamic approval routing. Using custom metadata or custom settings, I could store departmental approval hierarchies and use Apex to dynamically generate the approval steps based on the record criteria. I would also build in flexibility to accommodate changes in the process or hierarchy. The sales team wants a real-time leaderboard on their Salesforce homepage to incentivize performance. How would you build this? For a real-time leaderboard, I'd recommend a Lightning component that utilizes the streaming API to push updates to the leaderboard as they happen. The component would display data from a custom object that aggregates sales figures, 
and it would use SOQL queries to retrieve and display the ranking of sales team members. How would you implement a system to auto-assign new leads to sales reps based on their current workload and expertise within Salesforce? I'd set up a custom lead assignment mechanism using Apex. It would consider the number of open leads already assigned to each rep and their areas of expertise, which could be stored in custom fields or related objects. This logic would be executed whenever a new lead is created, ensuring a balanced and intelligent distribution of leads. A client needs to sync their external inventory management system with Salesforce in real time. What solution would you propose? I would propose using Salesforce's external services to create a direct connection to the client's inventory management system API. This allows for real-time communication between the two systems. If the external system supports outbound messaging, that could also be a viable approach to ensure synchronization happens as changes occur. The marketing team wants to automatically segment contacts into different campaigns based on their interaction history. How do you automate this in Salesforce? Marketing segmentation could be automated using a combination of Salesforce's Process Builder and Apex. I'd create criteria in Process Builder to trigger an Apex class that segments contacts based on their interaction history, stored in custom objects or fields, and then enrolls them into the appropriate campaigns.